Since entering Parliament, I've seen just how uncaring this government is, looking after the super wealthy and pushing the poorest into destitution. Money that should be used to protect public services is instead paying for bank bailouts and tax cuts for the rich. By tearing down the welfare state, the government is destroying a vital safety net that should be there for all of us. Austerity has failed. The cuts aren't working. Debt's rising and hope is disappearing. Unlike the other parties, the Green Party knows that the way to tackle the deficit isn't by slashing public services, it's by investing in jobs. Jobs will get tax revenues going back into the economy. And the green economy is one of the best places to invest, not only because of the environmental benefits, but because it creates more jobs than the fossil fuel economy it replaces. When people are working, communities work better, and the Green Party puts you and your community first. Throughout the country, Green councillors are working to create a caring society, where work pays at least a living wage, and a citizen's pension provides a dignified retirement. Tax contributions that match ability to pay, and high quality public services that are run for people, not for profit. Step by step, we'll return our energy, water and rail networks to public ownership. We'll strengthen our education system by trusting those who understand it best, teachers, and we'll abolish tuition fees for higher education. So how are we going to pay for all of this? Well, contrary to what this government tells you, not all borrowing is bad. We'll borrow to invest in a sustainable future. And by clamping down on tax evasion and avoidance, we'll gain tens of billions every year. By scrapping Trident nuclear weapons, we'll save 100 billion over the next 30 years. And a transaction tax for financial institutions of a tiny 0.05% will bring in more money than the government is raising this year through welfare cuts. All across the country, where we have green councillors, we're implementing the living wage, fighting the cruel and unfair bedroom tax, and encouraging community banks and affordable loans. We've shown we can do it, and we can do it in your community too. Vote for the Green Party on May the 2nd, and vote for a party that actually cares about you.